Today I bring you breaking news on your QD OLED future. Hi friends and welcome to Victor's Reality. We have new information on the Samsung Odyssey QD OLED G8 with some breaking news on the world's first super ultra-wide QD OLED curved gaming monitor, codenamed Project 491C from MSI, and maybe a sneak peek on a future QD OLED Odyssey from Samsung, and it's time to put on your tinfoil hats, as I got some theories and it's speculation time on this new design change from Samsung to what's coming out in the near future. We got a lot to unpack today, so let's get into it. Samsung has released, by way of the Samsung Global Newsroom, a new infographic game with unmatched clarity on Samsung's first OLED gaming monitor, the Odyssey OLED G8. And just a quick recap, friends, the Odyssey OLED G8 is designed for lightning-fast gameplay, 175 hertz with a 0.1 millisecond response time, with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio, will keep you ahead of the competition, with Visa Display HDR400 True Black certification with True RGB. And the amazing thing of this specific monitor is that it's ultra slim, ultra futuristic, with an updated core sync and core lighting plus technology that matches your game's on-screen colors for a world blending immersion. And we will get into that design language a little bit later into the video with the new Super Ultra QD OLED Future Odyssey monitor. And here is some breaking news, friends. You can see right here in the infographic, the Odyssey OLED G8 comes with a three-year warranty, so you can enjoy all-night gaming sessions for years to come. That is the best news by far for this technology for this specific monitor. Samsung is finally updating to a three-year warranty. Now, it does not specifically say burn-in, which I will try to find more information for you in the future. Once more information is released, you can check down in the description and in the comment section which I will keep you updated. But a three-year warranty matching Alienware's three-year warranty, but Alienware specifically says burn-in protection. Regardless, this is good news. This is a sign in the right direction. So rest assured, you buy this beautiful ultra-slim monitor, you will be covered. So checking out the infographics, light up new possibilities with the Odyssey OLED G8. This monitor looks pretty. It looks beautiful, ultra slim, ultra sleek with a new design language. You can see the back of the monitor with that halo circle area of the RGBs. The lighting is big and hopefully really bright. It looks very colorful and very futuristic. Remember, this is ultra slim. Here with the specifications, you can see everything quantum dot OLED, 1800R curvature, 34 inches, 3440 by 1440. Display HDR 400 true black, 21 by nine, with a 0.1 millisecond greater grade response time, max 175 hertz with a DCI-P3 of 99%. And like I said earlier, look at that design, ultra slim metal design. That is the slimmest monitor I have ever seen. It's super futuristic, 3.9 millimeters at its thinnest part. It does look less gamerish and more futuristic, I would say. But I mean, it still looks gamerish, it looks awesome. Here with FreeSync Premium, it does include two five watt speakers. Of course, with its cloud gaming, the gaming hub, and of course, the game bar. This is a very smart monitor, smart TV apps, smart things, video conference and multi-view support. And here with the stand, you can go up and down, tilt and the wall mount is 100 by 100 in case you wanted to wall mount it. And not shown here, I'm sure it probably comes with an adapter just like the Neo G7 and Neo G8. And with the connectivity, one micro HDMI 2.1 port, one mini display 1.4 port, and of course the beautiful three year warranty on this awesome and amazing monitor. This Odyssey OLED G8 has already been released in South Korea and in many parts of Europe. But just for my UK friends here, as I have gotten the comments, stopping by at the Samsung UK website, you can order now and it's coming out very soon, friends. Even with a special gift, might as well take advantage of it if you have your eye on this awesome Odyssey OLED G8. I will try to get more information on other countries. Just check the description. I will update it throughout the week as these are releasing as we speak. The US doesn't have a specific release date yet, but I'm sure we will know any day now. And recently announced at the AMD Presents, Together We Advance in Gaming, AMD took the stage to secretly announce a new future Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. And it says here the first 8K ultra wide gaming monitor, which we know that is not the case. It is just basically a super wide monitor, like the Neo G9 and ultra super wide monitors. It's time to put on your tinfoil hats. It's time to speculate to better regulate on this new design change from Samsung to what's coming out in the near future. Look at that design language of the back of the monitor that they're showcasing. That does not look like any regular ordinary Neo G9. We have two things in my opinion that's happening here, which probably is the case. Samsung is going full blown redesign on the monitor's body. This looks exactly like an OLED G8. Look at the back of the monitor. Of course, super wide. It does not look like a regular Neo G9 or Neo G8. So that's something to look forward to. The new Neo G9, according to this specific piece of information, will have a new design language. But what I think is going on secretly if it's not a new design language, this is the first glimpse of the Odyssey QD OLED Super Ultra Wide Gaming Monitor. If because if OLED and QD OLED can be this thin, I can understand them going for a different look versus the Neos versus a regular G7 or G6. So I hope you understand what I'm saying. This design language change 
looks like a QD OLED or OLED version of this G9 monitor. Maybe it's the G10. Who knows, we will see very soon at CES 2023. I just wanted to point out that design language change. The new super ultrawide gaming monitor from the Odyssey line is going to look like an OLED G8. So either this is a QD OLED monitor, Neo G9, but the Neo is reserved for mini LED. So we will see, friends, a lot of information to unpack. We will know very soon. Also breaking, friends, is Project 491C from MSI, the world's first super ultra-wide curved gaming monitor. That's why the Odyssey QD OLED Super Wide Gaming Monitor also comes into play. I brought you this information earlier in the summer that Samsung is making 77-inch QD OLED TVs and 49-inch QD OLED monitors, and you can see right here. This is the first glimpse. It's coming, and it's coming very soon, in 2023. I will bring you more information at CES 2023, but you can see here, friends, this is going to be amazing. And this will only trickle down to the 27 inch and 32 inch monitor sizes. People want that size, and I'm sure we will get it very soon. As you all know, LG is introducing two new 240Hz OLED gaming monitors. They're coming in full force in the next couple of weeks. So Samsung can't be sleeping, and they need to release these very soon and give us the form factors that we want. So friends, there you have it. Information on the Samsung Odyssey QD OLED G8 monitor with a three year warranty. A new design language change on a future QD OLED or OLED gaming monitor and the awesome Project 491C from MSI, the world's first super ultra wide QD OLED curved gaming monitor. All coming very soon and will be announced at CES 2023. Bringing you the news as soon as it breaks. All these technologies, all these monitors look amazing and you will have so much to choose from. From LG to Samsung and I'm sure other manufacturers throughout 2023. So friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button so more people can see it to help them make that awesome buying decision. Consider subscribing if you want breaking news on all brands of monitors. From mini LED to OLED, the future is looking very bright. Thanks for watching friends. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next time.